I will shed light on a significant biblical prophecy concerning Gog and Magog, which is often misunderstood. In parts 1 and 2, I presented evidence that Gog is the chief prince ruling over Meshach, Tubal, and Magog. Importantly, during Ezekiel's vision, these regions were situated in modern-day Turkey, not Russia, as commonly believed. It's crucial to recognize that Turkey holds historical significance as the former seat of the Islamic Caliphate, the Ottoman Empire, which conquered Jerusalem in its time. Now, some might object, arguing it should be Russia, but let's consider the context further. Ezekiel's prophecy mentions Persia, referring to the empire encompassing present-day Iran, Afghanistan, and Pakistan, along with Kush and Put, representing North African nations like Libya and Sudan. Significantly, all these nations are predominantly Islamic. The unsettling aspect of Ezekiel 38 is the reason behind this invasion, which is to wipe out the people of Israel. This connection to Islamic majority nations is notable, raising pertinent questions about the future and the role of these nations in fulfilling this prophecy. It is essential to approach biblical prophecies with an open mind, seeking understanding and context. As interpretations may vary, delving deeper into historical contexts and geopolitical factors can provide a clearer perspective on these profound revelations.